I'm Sean McNamara. I'm the author of Defy Your Limits, The Telekinesis Training Method, and Meditation X, The Mindfulness Practice of Moving Matter with Subtle Energy and Intention. As we're getting closer to the release date for Meditation X, which is actually in two days, on December 31st, 2017, more and more people are asking me the difference between the two books, and if they already have the first book, should they buy the second book? So right now I'm going to compare and contrast the two books for you to help you decide if you should get one of them over the other or get both of them. Just so you know, I also have a complete telekinesis video course online and you can find out about that on my website, mindpossible.com. So let's start talking about the first book that I released earlier this year in February, Defy Your Limits. This book is written with a lot of psychological knowledge in it, a lot of psychological experience. It goes through my initial journey, teaching myself telekinesis and what I found out to be helpful for that process of learning how to do it. And I share that with you and take you through the steps from moving an object which is uncovered to putting a glass cover over it, touching the glass with your hands, taking your hands off of the glass and moving the object. And then finally, at the end of the book, you're able to sit across the table from the object while it's still covered by a glass container and move it through your intention from a distance of four or five feet. And along with the instructions in the book, you also get a website with private pages in it with links to videos that I've created specifically for that book. So not only are the instructions included in the book in writing, but you get to follow along by watching these videos that show you what it's like to learn step by step how to move these objects with your mind and with your body's energy. Again, it's very psychologically weighted and not too spiritual, although there are some spiritual topics in it. And it discusses the implications in other aspects of life. For example, if you use intention setting or you're into things like the secret or the law of attraction or using a vision board, things like that, the implication that your intention and your mind are very powerful permeate this book and it spreads into other areas of your life. Then my newest book, Meditation X, is different because I wrote it specifically for people who meditate or who want to learn how to meditate. Because so many people in the last year have asked me over and over again, do I need to meditate in order to do telekinesis? And I kept telling them, no, you don't have to. Meditation happens naturally when you do telekinesis but I realized that there needed to be more information about that. So this book takes a more spiritual bent to the approach of telekinesis, and it shows you how so many meditation techniques found in traditions around the world are used in telekinesis training. So it shows that it's a spiritual practice in a way, but it's very much a mental discipline the way many kinds of meditation instructions are also mental disciplines. It also takes you step by step through the very same stages the first book does, but it also teaches some advanced techniques. If you go through all the training, you'll be able to not only sit across the table from the object and move it with your intention, but we do things like moving several objects inside one container without our hands, and then having three objects each in its own glass container and moving them also with your hands and also without your hands, just looking at them. And we practice lining them up in a row or in a column in front of us, and then also in, in a row in front of us. So that's a couple ways that we work with multiple objects at the same time. And in one of the techniques, you learn to move four objects together in, a, in four separate containers. Also, you get more instructions than you get in the first book about how to work with a partner so two people sitting across from an object and helping each other move the object. And the perhaps the most interesting technique that you learn in Meditation X is you learn to use two cell phones to have a conference call with the object. And you set up one phone in front of the object while it's covered in glass. And then you go to a different room in your house and use the other phone and look at the object through the phone and send your intention to it that way. And then you'll see that the object moves. And like my first book, I have videos specifically created to teach you each one of these exercises. So you also get that video support there. There's no way to find the videos without the books. Both books have the links inside the chapters. So as you're reading, you type in the links into your browser and then you'll get access to the videos that way. 
If you're not interested in learning how to do telekinesis, but you're interested in other paranormal matters like ESP, remote viewing, energy healing, it's still really valuable for you to read these books because they do get very deeply involved into the topics of mental intention and mental influence and how connected we are with the rest of our world. I think there are many things that you'll find in both of these books that will help increase your knowledge in other arenas of parapsychology, of ordinary psychology, and spirituality. So I'm the author and I think you should buy both books, but if you're interested in the spiritual or meditative aspect, buy Meditation X. If you're interested more in the psychological aspect and getting to know me more at my beginning stages of learning how to do this, get the first book. If you want to learn all the techniques that I have to offer and want to have the most amount of knowledge in your toolkit for learning how to do this, get both books. You won't be sorry that you did. And they're both available on Amazon. And then again, go to my website if you want to sign up for the complete video course, which has a lot of videos to take you step by step to the highest level that the first book takes you to. If you're more interested in doing scientific research, these books will offer you something because not only will you be able to learn to do telekinesis yourself, but you'll also learn more about the process and how when someone learns to do this at home on their own, it's a little bit different than laboratory testing, but it can very much be applied to testing these things in the laboratory. And it gives you many different ways that you could consider doing further research in psychokinesis or telekinesis, whichever one you refer to it by. So I hope this was helpful for you. Again, the book drops in two days on the 31st in Kindle, and it'll also be available on paperback, and you can pre-order the Kindle version now. So if you are watching this through YouTube, please subscribe to my channel, because I have a lot of videos out there showing you things I've developed over the years, and anytime I discover something new or increase my ability, I post a new video about it, because I want to share this with the world and encourage you to learn how to work with your mind and with your soul. Okay, thanks.